being pregnant with ideas that come from faith, that come from looking within, tapping into spirit. You become pregnant with ideas that are of your highest self. There is a, a lot of potential here. It's fertile ground, but it takes cutting away the excess, uh, cutting down the ego to get to the truth of matters, cutting away social biases, cutting away social distractions to get to it. Welcome as we continue looking at universal symbols imagery, psychology, and the gemstones day by day as we follow the Sabian symbols of astrology. Thanks for being here. Today we're on Taurus Scorpio 17 and we're going to start with Scorpio today. A woman filled with her own spirit is the father of her own child. Another way to say it, a woman fecundated by her own spirit is great with child. Empty rooms with perfect walls and floors. A space alien infant given to a woman to be raised. The king's retinue on a secret journey. The mountain abode of a hermit. The stone for Scorpio is kimberlite. It connects to all chakras. It can help balance and revitalize your entire system. It's protective. It helps you develop your psychic skills and abilities. It helps you walk your walk as you talk your talk. It helps you follow your true spiritual path. It helps de-acidify the body. It regulates body's mineral balance. It gives a sense of well-being. It improves your stamina. It increases self-confidence. It helps you be more decisive. It promotes and instills trust and loyalty provides us with hope it's a stone of safety luck and healing so Scorpio 17 17 is a number of Venus so this is a powerful degree associated with Venus what we desire this degree is asking us to have faith at a very high level to turn away from the turmoils of the everyday, like turn the news off. Yes, we live in the world, but no, we're not to stress over it. And, and we're meant to, on this degree, focus inward. Take a look at our own issues. Let our own issues arise so that we deal with them and we clean our house. The empty rooms with perfect walls and floors is our inner tranquility. The mountain abode of a hermit, step aside, a part of society, but be a part enough that you can come up with your own decisions, um, make your own mind up with things. And then when you do that, you're able to create from a place of originality. Um, it helps you find your own true spiritual path. Being pregnant with ideas that come from faith, that come from looking within, tapping into spirit. You become pregnant with ideas that are of your highest self. Realizing our hidden potentials that generally stay hidden and will continue to stay hidden until you look within with faith that the way through is within. Surrendering to the potency in an inward way. Shutting down the hubbub. So leaving space so that something new can be born. Let's take a look at 17 Taurus. A symbolic battle between swords, the disciples of might, and torches, the disciples of enlightenment. A pomegranate broken open lights and mirrors dancing with each other. An ancient culture is transporting gigantic stones. A book patiently waiting to spill forth its vast and profound knowledge. The stone is orange zircon and the spelling will be in the description. It, another name is jacinth. 
It reduces fever, soothes pains, relieves stomach cramps, lung issues, and menstrual pains. It aids in meditation. It stimulates the liver. It helps those detoxifying from nicotine and alcohol. Keeps you grounded while promoting intuitive psychic abilities. It helps you become more organized. It gives you mental clarity. It attracts wisdom, success, honor, wealth, a beautiful amber colored stone. To learn more about how to gain the power of a gemstone just from a photo, check out this video. Okay, Taurus 17. There's again a level of frustration as we heard yesterday. And the way through the frustration is to accept your self-worth and that each of us are unique not everybody is going to understand you and if this degree is very strong for you that feeling may be really strong because you have a lot within you that you want to voice but many people may not hear you and even when they do they don't understand you but that doesn't mean that you don't have value so you keep saying what you need to say you keep talking your way through it and in doing so you realize your path your path is 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 shown to you the more you practice it the easier it gets so your voice becomes stronger and your inner vision becomes stronger and you gain confidence so confidence could be an issue with this particular degree. You see the difference between right and wrong, black and white, good and bad. There's a, there's a strong issue about polarities here, what's right and what's wrong, and it's for you to decide. And not necessarily to convince anybody else about it, just to know within yourself what is right and what is wrong, and in doing so, you find your path. So this is about finding our path of what is right and wrong for us, for each of us within. There's a strong sense here of wanting to break open situations, um, to spill out the truth. Maybe a frustration that you can't do it. Refusing to rely on the past, knowing that there are new ways of doing things and the way through is within. We know that from the other degree because these are connected. They're, they're mirrors of each other. So because of the polarity issue here, when you say something, you, you may bring up opposition. And that doesn't mean you have to fight it. Um, it means that that particular person is just not on the same page as you are. It doesn't always mean a fight. But it sounds like it could come up. Part of what's going on here you're going to come up against oppositions because you're you're trying to wake yourself up to the fact that your ego is not your spiritual self and in the goal is to bring them together but at first it will create opposition and in deciding this is right this is wrong this is right this is wrong and you keep doing that eventually it becomes clearer and spirit and ego become one that that's the goal the judgmental aspect of this by noticing what somebody else may be doing what you consider to be wrong is something to contemplate not necessarily fight with them about. You, you may be inclined to do that, but don't because it, it's, it may just add confusion. Sit with it. Journal about it. Ask within, why is this smacking me in the face so hard? You know, what, what, is, what is there for me to learn about it? This stretch is apparently an area of frustration and the frustration is there so that we creatively break through. So be gentle with yourself. 
maybe meditate on these stones. You can write about anything that sets you off emotionally. You don't have to have fights in your relationship about it. But you are meant to, to give careful consideration to what is right and what is wrong. I think people that have this strong, um, do have a strong sense of justice, what's morally right and wrong. But we're all feeling it today. This is about a writer, the book wanting to be broken open, the pen being mightier than the sword. Write about what you feel. This degree is swinging inward. Yesterday it was the girl smiling outward. Today we're going in. So any conflicts that are happening are meant to be considered in an inward way. Not, not fighting with other people. Not getting on soapboxes. Write about it. There is a, a lot of potential here. It's fertile ground. But it takes cutting away the excess, uh, cutting down the ego to get to the truth of matters, cutting away social biases, cutting away social distractions to get to it. So, a little more sober than yesterday, but very interesting. I thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care.